My name is Tom Hodge, uh, my band is Piano Interrupted and we're playing a uh, kind of mixed style, a bit of classical, a little bit of electronica, a hint of jazz, a bit of uh, bits and pieces thrown in as well. I mean my main uh, day job if you like is uh, as a composer, I write a lot of music for the, for the media, TV and film and commercials and the like. But uh, I've just started getting back onto the performing side of things, which is really exciting. Uh, well, I was very, I was slightly terrified about what the acoustic was going to be like with a you know a grand piano, essentially a, an acoustic type sound, you know a broadly classical type sound in such a huge huge venue. But actually, uh, the the sound itself, when you're in amongst it, is great, and so you get a combination of this uh, quite intimate sound with, with the great PA down there, combined with the with the amazing sort of uh, grand location. So no, it's rather it's rather nice actually. I was quite very surprised. Paganini Rocks is based on Paganini's Caprice 24, which was a piece written in uh, the early 1800s, and it's kind of fascinated loads of uh, many many composers through the years. And uh, I got interested in it as well. I wrote this piece, which is broadly. Uh, classical minimalism but with a hint of kind of post-rock to it and it was fa uh, then picked up by Rob DeBank and Tom Middleton uh, and it's been uh, redeveloped into into a bit of a club tune uh, and then they got Au Revoir Simone uh, uh, to do some vocals and uh, yeah here we are. Yeah I mean it was it was kind of I suppose the way we got to rework Paganini was that we were asked by um, the guys who'd made the original music for the advert, if we wanted to do a kind of dance rework of it, uh, you know, listen to obviously knew the melody straight away, it's such an immediate melody, and um, thought that we could probably do something with it. Um, me and Tom went in the studio only for a few hours actually, and sort of uh, had this the drum beat from a Blur song and a few other kind of uh, drum programming bits, and just layered it up and went for it. and. Uh, yeah, they, they liked it, so it's all kind of happened from there. And then, and then we did it as an instrumental, and then thought maybe we should um, try and get a vocal on it. Thought of Oravar Simone, who, who's stuff we loved, and it's given it that nice kind of indie edge, and that was it really. Gonna go and find a pair of gloves and a cup of tea and uh, get down to some Paganini.